And we are live. We're here. Uh, half of Corey's face is showing. Now we can see the whole thing. Uh, Corey, how excited are you for that uh, that robotic auto transforming Optimus Prime figure? Yo, I was tripping out. I was like, oh my gosh, I want it. But, I mean, that <laughs> price tag though. I'm like, I don't want it that bad. How much is it? It was uh six ninety nine. Oh hell! Wait, wait, like like six hundred ninety nine dollars, not six dollars and ninety nine cents. Kevin Smith said six ninety nine. So you're thinking six dollars ninety nine cents? But no, no, six hundred dollars no. ninety nine. No. no, I don't need no. No, forget. no like I might if it was one fifty, I might buy it. Like even two fifty, like I'd think about it. No, even three hundred. I'll push it to three hundred. Yeah, I'll push it to 300. I don't know. But like that thing's seven hundred dollars, and that's, I mean, that's I, I I spend good money on a lot of stupid shit, but that's <laughs> that's like if I I'll go that's how much was somebody how much was the dead Optimus Prime the uh free that was free that was free so uh two what? week two two weeks ago last last week uh Postmates was running a promotion for Deadpool's thirtieth anniversary uh, uh -huh. and uh you get a Deadpool head, a Deadpool themed uh, chimichanga cooler. Um, it's basically just an igloo cooler with Deadpool uh, stuff on it, like forty thousand um, uh, points for the Marvel Unlimited store. I don't know what that comes out to dollar wise. I haven't actually uh, signed up for it yet. Um, but yeah, uh, so like it cost me a five dollar tip for the the Postmates driver, and that was it. Jeez. Yeah, seven hundred dollars for Optimus, uh, auto transforming Optimus Prime. Yeah, I don't need, I don't need that. Mm. I, like I don't to need that. With my hands. Yeah, no, like even, <laughs> let, me, let me see here. So this thing on the on the shelf that I have behind me, this is probably the most expensive thing that I have up there that you can see. Mm. Uh, but even this, I didn't buy. This way, this, this was handed out at E three. If you want and watch the uh, the 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 Dying Light two demo. Uh, but that was going on eBay for like four hundred bucks, I think. Jeez, see, this is why I'm scared to get into the whole collecting realm because I know my wallets, my bank account, wallets or bank accounts are gonna be empty as hell. Um, no, you just I've, gotta choose wisely. Yeah, like, I've been I, really I like lucky this. with with stuff that I've been getting. I really wanted just the Koryuji thing, but I didn't buy the whole sword. I just went on eBay and somebody was selling it, and I got it. So it's just uh, for the you soldier thing. I just wanted this. I didn't want the whole purple sword. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. I have in my in my storage unit, uh, I have do you guys know the game uh Darksiders? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I uh, one one of the characters in the game has like this giant scythe weapon. Um a friend of mine uh, used to work at Machinima and uh, uh, the company that made Darksiders had given him a life size replica of the scythe. Uh, it wouldn't fit at his office at the new place that we were working at. So he was like, do you want this thing? I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? Right, okay. I have absolutely no scythe. place to put it. That's why it's in my storage <laughs> unit. Like, it is ginormous. Like, the, the scythe itself is about... I, I can't see where I'm at on camera. It, it's But it's like the entire width of, of what you see in the frame here. It's Jeez. huge. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show it off next time. The, the not next week because I'll be in in Santa Rosa, uh, but the next time I'm live streaming from home after I get to my storage, you know, I'll, I'll show it off. The thing is amazingly big. I have Got no it. idea what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, but what 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 other like Power Rangers stuff did they announce at during the Hasbro Pulse thing? Anything anything interesting? Anything we should care about? Uh, no. metallic ranger figures, which I thought they were just only gonna make one, but apparently, yeah, they, if you make no, one, you got. They make just one. La, 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 la. <laughs> Here's my because look, I don't collect the lightning figures. I probably will, probably will buy some somewhere in the future whenever I get my own place. But I guess it makes sense, you know. You make one, you gotta make the whole team, which obviously, obviously makes sense. And they also announced one of the red uh, centuries from the Boom comic, so. It's nice. I mean, I'm to be honest, I'm over MMPR getting more and more figures at this point. I'm just I'm just <laughs> waiting for uh, other teams to get figures because if I had to look at another wave of the Lightning Collection and I see an MMPR Ranger on that wave, I'm like, okay. Or and no, uh, any I'm ready, MMPR. I'm ready for some RPM or, or some or even uh, I want a, a Daishi figure, really. They didn't need to put a Tango Warrior on a Lightning Collection. They put a Tango before anybody. That was stupid. 
That is just stupid. I don't hey, care hey. about tangas. Hey, look, I'll do you a favor because I'm I'm kind of retiring from this lightning stuff. I'm just picking and choosing. But before I was just like buying everything. But I, I give you the ones that I don't care for anymore, which are good characters. <laughs> like Ranger Slayer. All the Ranger what is it, all the all the MMPR uh, figures? Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> See, it, it's I funny because like you guys are talking about this stuff, and like you know, everyone's kind of excited about all, all these things that are coming out. Eh. Uh, for me, uh, first contact day for Star Trek was this past Monday. They showed off like trailers for the new lower decks. Uh, were, were like announced like a whole ton of new stuff. And I'm like, that's that, that's that's shit that that's I'm excited your for. That's yeah. Your yeah. <laughs> oh, look, if, if it'll make you happy, I bought all of season two of Discovery yesterday. You'll like so it. I think, I think you'll like good. it. Did you Did you watch season one? Yeah. It's been a while since I watched it, so, but... I'm so, a... season, for, for me, just like for anyone watching who is slightly even on the fence about getting into Star Trek, uh, Discovery is the newest series uh, that's, that's airing currently. Um, I mean, you've also got Star Trek Picard uh, that's going to the production of the second... <laughs> second season of that but discovery is is the the newest stuff that we have um season one was like it, it felt like a like a starter series for people like it, it i i felt like it brought in enough of the older stuff to feel reminiscent of star trek but to kind of transition over to a more modern audience season and season two just like really laid into that um it mm. brought it brought a lot more nostalgia in since uh, uh captain pike came in um, who's also getting a new series, but the way it played for people who might not be familiar with everything is it's it's good. I I, I hope I hope people kind of get into it. Um, yeah, I I I'm kind of hyped to go through it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's I think that's gonna be fun. The new season of Lower Decks looks great. Q is coming back for uh, season two of Star Trek Picard. So if you, if if you know like uh, Next Generation or. Um, uh, uh, Voyager, he made a bunch of appearances on John Delancey. Uh, he was like the omnipotent being that just like fucked around with everyone. Uh, when you say Q, I'm thinking James Bond. Yeah, no, not quite. Oh. Not quite, not quite. <laughs> Q, yeah. Q is basically, um, you know, Mr. Mitzel Plitiak from DC. Mixes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's like, that, that. he's Mr. like that. Mitzel yeah, Pitalik. yeah, yeah. He does things to teach uh, the, 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 the Starfleet lessons, but. Yeah, you know, he's also just fucking yeah. with them. Like he turns Picard into uh, uh, Robin Hood. That's funny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, 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 funny. yeah it, it, it's it's fun stuff. Uh, but anyway, let's let's get into today's episodes, episodes ten, eleven, and twelve. Uh, I did the math right this time. I didn't put ten to thirteen, even though ten plus three <laughs> is thirteen. I I can count. Really, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, these episodes today are the beginning of the Titanium Ranger introduction uh well i guess they are the introduction to this time titanium ranger not really the intro i guess the intro to his arc like how how, how much of the series is he actually in this the, like <laughs> <laughs> like a, dare i say he's probably ryan's only in the season for like what a quarter yeah because after after he he walks off it's just him digging through the desert trying to find a way to uh, track queen bench here again he doesn't even morph until like towards the end of the series. Yeah, until he comes. So what back. we're about to get is it. This is it. <laughs> Better enjoy it. Wait, wait. <laughs> so, so in in the third episode today, he like leaves the morpher behind, so he doesn't pick it up again. He does. No, he, no, does. he does. Back. He's coming back to do his thing, but he has like a a little arc, which is this all about. Uh, I think it's about what is it six episodes? Because then there are those those three demons. But after they deal with, um, after he deals with those three demons, then he he checks out. He dips. So really quick, I just want to jump over to the chat here. Uh, the blur has given us two super chats. <laughs> Thank you very much. One for two ninety nine. He says use Klarna and Quad Pay. Uh, I believe those are in reference to paying for the collectible items so that you don't have to pay the upfront cost. And he also says uh, Mega and Super Mega Double Pack, uh, which are the items that he's excited for. 
uh, I'm assuming from uh, the stuff that was announced at Hasbro Pulse. Uh, Matthew Thompson is also in the chat. Ryan Metal, Ryan Cluster, Jared Hodges, Edward Sanchez Productions, and Larry Newbill. What's going on, guys? Um, Matthew Thompson uh, also says that Q, the voice of uh, John Delancey, the guy who plays Q on Star Trek, is also the voice of Discord from My Little Pony. Uh, oh, interesting. I know the character, but I've never watched the show, so that doesn't necessarily mean much to me. I know I also know him from Arcade, um, uh, the uh, was a Cronenberg movie, I think, uh, and, or not not was it Arcade or Videodrome? I can't remember which one he was in. Uh, and uh, Breaking Bad, uh, he was Kristen Ritter's father in that. Um, but yeah, these, these episodes, like they were weird. Like they, they felt kind of uneven to me. Yeah. Um, I let, I let John go. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, starting with, with this first, I, I get what you mean, how these episodes feel a little uneven. I'll, okay. I'll admit this. If we did end off with episode 10 last week, we would have had a better like start off for this week, okay. but I can understand. I can understand why you mean by this being like an odd, you know, startup because episode ten is like a, it's a continuation from episode. It, yeah, nine. it continues where we were from where we were last week, and episode eleven was really the beginning of the of this new arc. So I I did a, a bad job of of break of breaking that. apart. Yeah, um, uh, I I will I will go back to Corey's uh, grid there that that he, that he made up. <laughs> uh, but uh i've been like the past couple of weeks i've just been like like just brain dead from from everything that's going on in like regular daily life uh so so all this stuff has kind of been not 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 secondary but paying attention to what actual episodes i should be watching has been kind of secondary to actually making sure that i get through them uh but um no it, it's it's not it's not even that the the episode 10 was a weird place to leave off the just like the pacing of these episodes felt a little off to me um okay. it's like like that that's that that hasn't been a problem for me this season yet with uh the the pace of the story that's being told or even like random plot holes in the episodes and it these were these were just weird like let, let, let's talk about episode 10 first uh because like my 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 real not that it's a it's not really a problem but my actual issue kind of starts in episode 11 um episode 10 was fun it was uh you know we got, <laughs> we, 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 we got to see joel kind of make it make an idiot out of himself um but uh uh what what was the point of this this train zord that, okay. that just kind of like I, <laughs> yeah like so I, I i mean not what's the point i understand what the point of it is it's a bigger better sell toys uh thing <laughs> toys but it i felt like it kind of just like came out of nowhere well it was always there so why hadn't they used it up till now like it feels like okay you it guys have upgrade. seen you, you guys have seen pacific rim right yeah yes. so the big thing with pacific rim is why the fuck did he <laughs> wait to use the sword until the end of the show or the end of the movie. Well, well, the thing is, you don't want to pull out all your big guns in the beginning because if the enemy knows you packing, then they're gonna come with something bigger. So you, if you can fight with what you have, and win, then cool. But then when when push comes to shove, then you that's when you start to gun. escalate. You get what I mean? Yeah, it's it's just it's, it's one of those things where it's like, wait, they had this, like th th this 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 thing would have like pummeled. All of the all of the monsters that they had to fight in the past, like yeah, nine but episodes. then they were fine with just the light speed Megazord. Yeah, all right, very good. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Super Train Mega. I still want one. <laughs> I mean, it looks dope. Yeah. And uh, then and, yeah, even the toys. When you combine the toys, you can still keep the Zords in the train and combine them. But uh, like like okay, so my issue my issue with the with this episode is. We see we see the 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 power of the weapons overloading, and then that kind of gets dropped in the next episode. It's like so. Uh, look, okay, I didn't watch these this week, so I'm going <laughs> off memory. <laughs> so right. so they're 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 using the uh, the missiles and the the rocket launchers and all that kind of stuff, and there's like an energy surge, and they all start getting electrocuted inside the cockpit. So they, oh yeah, yeah. So so they okay. switch to the other weapon. And then there's a surge with that weapon, and they all start getting electrocuted inside the cockpit. But it's never addressed that they fixed that. 
Oh, it, probably something different happened in the Sentai. That's yeah, it's a, sens- it's, a, it's a case in the Sentai. That's the reason. But yeah, that's why it got dropped. Okay, so that so that 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 was a plot that should have been followed up. I I didn't just miss something. Yeah, it's because sometimes they use the footage and they're just like, "Oh, we're gonna we're gonna adapt it this way," and then it doesn't make sense because they don't ever follow up on it. They're just trying to address why someone is moving a certain way, as right. opposed to just kind of working in working the actual scene into this into their new story right. uh one more sec we got another uh super chat from the blur for 499 he says okay so it's a gorgeous day here in boston so i'll be quick love episode 10 and the intro of the super train megazord and like seeing ryan and his intro drama thanks so much blur i uh, hope you enjoy the day out there in boston love the city uh, i got a lot of relatives out there um if it's anything like it is here in LA, it should be pretty nice because uh, it's been warm and nice and sunny the past for the past week. Um, so yeah, it, it was. I, I don't know. It, it was. It was just weird. Uh, I, I, like, but I don't. I don't really have any like other like actual critiques of this episode because it was just. Yeah, you know, it was, a, it was, it was a pretty. Ba- it was a pretty like, basic story. It was a good uh, Joel focus episode slash Miss Fairweather episode. Yeah, <laughs> I I I, can, I gotta well, bring up the end. Well, I mean, we, we didn't even really get any of the other Rangers. Like, no, like really, we 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 saw Joel. We saw the rest of the team when they were fighting the monsters, and that was kind of it. What what was George? This is not the one with Fairweather's brother, right? Not yet, not yet. Oh, this is not this one. No, this nope. is what, this is the one where at the end of the episode, uh, she invites him to dinner. <laughs> And then uh, he shows up. He, he shows up in the tux, and everyone else was there. I can I crack up every time he walks in, and every time as the music just slowly drops, I start dying of laughter, and everybody starts cracking up. It's just so perfect. It's so perfect. That is perfect comedic timing right there. That's a good comedy beat. I love oh, it. Man. It was. I, I, I feel so that. bad for him though, because like, like she, she totally catfished him with that. She did. She didn't say like, "Oh yeah, I'm not." It's just, she didn't say like, "Oh yeah, I would like to invite you to dinner with me and the other Rangers." And I'm like, "Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll show up. I'll just uh, wear my usual casual thing and everything." But no, you had the brother shower up and everything, look, put on his Sunday best, black suit, black hat, <laughs> strolling on in, only to see. I'm like, "Oh, it's not alone." <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I love that she, she I mean, wrong. I mean, it was, that, okay, that okay. So, have like, either of you guys run into that situation before, where someone is, where where someone invited you out someplace, you thought it was a date, and then you get there and you find out that it's a group outing? No, because I don't get I invited had, anywhere. I had the opposite happen. Or you invited someone else out to a group thing? No, someone invited me out somewhere, and I'm like, oh, this is a date. And then I'm looking shabby. And I was like, oh, let me, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 you thought it was a group outing, but it was actually a date. Yeah. Oh, man. That sucks. Oh, wow. I thought it was just hanging. Oh, I'm it's sorry. A, oh, at least you got, at least you got the, uh, the fair side of, uh, yeah. We, 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 we had a re, we, we uh, had a redate and we did it over. <laughs> yeah, let me try it again. Hold on. A redate. Uh, over in the chat, we got uh, Pirabel fifty seven who says Miss Fairweather's technology was all, always malfunctioned at first. So so th- so this is a continuing thing throughout the uh, the the series where she invents something and then it just kind of goes haywire and then it works. Uh, kind of sort of yeah. Uh, Afro Fox says that he always felt that the super train was still experimental when it was first introduced. So that, that, that kind of, that, do, that does kind of, uh, le- um, answer that question that that's a bit of like headcanon stuff. I feel that isn't necessarily explained in the show that could easily be taken care of by yeah, like a single a line Trumpy of dialogue. Megazord. Yeah. I um, think at this point, this is the, yeah, it is the biggest Megazord, the biggest single Megazord at this point. In Power Rangers history, so it's just like, oh yeah, yeah, this thing was huge. Like, why, right. why wouldn't they use this every time now? Yeah, like I'm saying, if they know they're just gonna make a bigger monster, you give them, yeah. If they come out with the super train every week, I was like, okay, I'm gonna <laughs> okay, knock this we gotta train apart. We gotta bring something bigger. But but they but yeah. they know they have it now, so can't they just would they just make bigger monsters anyway? I mean, they could, but you're you're destroying my logic, so I'm gonna need you to tone it down. A little bit. <laughs> just, uh... 
it, you know, it, it feels like Dragon Ball Z. Where, okay, Goku got to Super Saiyan level 84, so now they need to bring someone out whose power level is like 95. Yeah, but then Goku's just going to go train again. Yeah, so, so now Goku's got, yeah, Goku's got to get up to power level 96, beat that guy, and then now we got got someone else. It's, it's, it's just a never-ending cycle. Yeah, that's why Dragon Ball went on for 495 episodes or whatever. <laughs> well, Dragon Ball Super ju- like just ended recently, right? Ended like what? two years ago. <laughs> Ended like two years. The manga is still going, but the anime ended already. Oh, wow. are, are, are they doing another one? I hope not. <laughs> I mean, I love Dragon Ball, but I hope not. Because like, I think I saw that they just released new new content for uh, Dragon Ball uh, Kakarot, the, uh, the 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 sandbox game. They're gonna keep milking that. They're gonna try to put as much content in that game possible. It's a, it's a, you know, you gotta make money off of it somehow. So you gotta milk it as much. Or maybe, as maybe that's what I had seen about Dragon Ball Super. I think maybe they're putting Dragon Ball Super content into Kakarot now. Yeah, that's the thing. That I guess that kind of makes sense. I don't know, but yeah. Uh, anyway, I felt bad for Joel. Uh, <laughs> I've, I, I've, I've been in similar situations to that before. Uh, because I, I would have, I would have thought the same thing. She was like, Hey, come have dinner. Uh, and she didn't say anything about anyone else showing up. So that, that's, that's totally on her. Like, like, yeah, uh, that's, it's uh, just a miscommunication. Like, I don't think that it was, was a miscommunication. miscommunication. She, she did that she on purpose. She, she, she knew what she was purpose. doing. She did it on purpose. Playing with the black man's feelings. That's what she was doing. <laughs> yeah. She you never play with a brother's Wait. feelings. Ever. <laughs> never, never do that. Uh, all right, so I, I I'm just kind of like gonna blow through the scores on 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 on, the, on this episode because uh, there's not really many notes uh, that that uh, showed up here for it. Uh, we got uh, that's the first appearance of the Super Train Megazord, obviously because it hasn't shown up in any previous episodes. And the Rescue Rover now has an emergency flashing light bar. Uh, there's no errors that are listed here, but I'm going to say that Miss Fairweather not telling Joel that the other people were showing up was a grievous <laughs> error. The uh, rescue over never had sirens before. Uh, that, that's what the note says. Oh man, I gotta take a look at that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, Jonathan, what would you give this episode? Uh, well, I watched it last week. I mean, introduce introduction of a uh, another mech. Usually, I like those kind of introductions, so I'll give this episode like a four out of five. Uh, Corey. I, I, I know you didn't see it this week, but I know you've seen it before. I've seen it before. Uh, I love the Super Train Megazord, so I will just give it a, a, a three. A 3.5. 3. 3. Say, I'm... You're gonna it's hit. only high because of the Megazord. <laughs> <laughs> Ch- Chat's going to hate me for this one. I'm going to give it a two. Uh, the Megazord bumped it up from a one. Uh, but but Fairweather did Joel dirty in this. Like, I can't... I can't, I can't I can't give that a high score. She'll warm up to him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Mm. No, nope, been there. I can relate. Like, like I, 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 I felt that. <laughs> so okay, okay, okay. So 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 I'll I'll change my score. I'll give the episode a three out of five. I'll give Miss Fairweather a one. Yes. Uh, in the chat, we got uh, Matthew Thompson, who is uh, just chiming in on the Dragon Ball Super stuff. He said, since the manga is still going, there's no way that they won't actually do more. And he gives the episode a 4 out of 5. Jared Hodges gives it a 3 out of 5. And those are the only two scores that we have in the chat right now. So let's move on to episode 11, uh, which is where my kind of first plot hole weird line of dialogue thing comes in so in the cold open uh, for the what's the title of the episode uh this episode was titled it was like enter the titanium or something uh no no uh from deep in the shadows there we go okay i know where we're at okay uh so at the beginning of this episode uh dana shows up to uh her father's office with a cake uh to commemorate her brother's what what would be her brother's 20th birthday um he says uh i can't but something like i can't believe you remembered and then she goes on to talk about uh uh the the brother and that this would have been his 20th birthday 
And then she says, so we're going to celebrate like we always have. So she just contradicted, like, how would she not remember if they do this every year for her brother's birthday? I think I, I, I there's circumstances, what... you know, because they're fighting demons now. And it's like, oh, you actually remember it, despite what's going on in the world today. Exactly. Like, so yeah. much stuff she can get carried away, but you think she would forget her brother's birthday? Of course not. She wouldn't forget her brother's it, birthday. It, it, was, it, just, it just felt like a weird line to me. Like, like, oh, a, yeah, like, a, weird, just... like a weird way of expressing... Like, if... Uh, again, if... Um, uh, if if it had been something where like he hadn't remembered or like there, I felt like there should have been another line there to explain like why something out like something else that's going on that would have uh, uh, gotten in the way of her remembering. Yeah, like oh, I know things are crazy, but I can never forget my brother's birthday. Yeah, 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 ex exactly, exactly. Because yeah. this oh, okay. just this this, okay. this this just came across like yeah, we do this every year. How why 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 would I forget? And then, and then he was just like, "Yeah, okay." Like it, it did. It felt like it, it wasn't going anywhere. Like it, it was just, a, it was just a weird, a weird way to 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 set that up. I think. Okay, I see what you mean. Uh, but that being said, even even though the the way it happened was weird, it, I think it was a good way to kind of set up the episode. Um, just because we're like, oh, okay, she has a brother. Uh, so we're going to see what happens to him in this episode. Like, that's kind of how Power Rangers does, like, like they're very he heavy handed with their setups. Oh yeah. It's like, mm. look, look at, look at my hand. <laughs> like, like in, in, uh, on like other, in, on other TV shows, like this would be, this would have been like, you know, like maybe 10 episodes from now they would have done it or like three seasons from now, it would have been a previously on Stargate SG one. And then they would have shown like, uh, you know, something some, that some, happened some, like some, 10 episodes. Yeah. Ago. Something happened either 10 episodes ago or two seasons ago. And they're like, Oh man, this, this, this villain is coming back this episode because you see them in the preview. Yeah. That's why I had beef with beast Morpheus. Cause they just dropped that, that RPM bomb out of the sudden. They could have, they could have sprinkled it in through all of season one. And then season two could have came through, and then and then it would have been like, oh, they're they're paying everything off. It's just like, look, all of a sudden, all of a sudden they have a ranger vote with Morphers and stuff, and I'm like, where is this? All of a sudden, <laughs> this is here now. <laughs> are, are you guys, I mean, I, are you guys watching the the new season, Dino Fury? Are you are you guys? Of course, this? Yeah, of course. So, I gotta okay. prime myself. I got to prime myself out of bed every morning just to watch. So it. <laughs> so I I haven't seen today's episode yet, but I'm I'm caught up outside of that. But I've got a question. Every, when when the Zords when 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 they, when they get the Zords out, um, do they find like a new cave to break through the walls of every week? <laughs> no, they break out the same cave. <laughs> like do do they or do the caves like seal themselves back up? <laughs> it, look, Josh, what do I always say? <laughs> what do I always say, Josh? I mean, they should just use the Sentai footage because they just show up. Like the Rex just comes running in, and they all just kind of show up. They don't. I mean, bursting out of the 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 mountain is good the one time, but yeah, if that's yeah, like, I, like I get it. It's fun. Up, yeah, it's a good way for them to show up, or like the first time like, each of them show mountain? up. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, I mean, it was like Power Rangers, but I I, I assumed it was just kind of like like it was artificial, and they you know the T Rex kind of comes out of the ground, you know. Right, right, right. Mind. But but th but then like my next thought was okay, well maybe 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 they're destroying the cave. And then a repair crew has to come in every every week and fix it. <laughs> and then that's like that's like all kinds of money that they're spending. <laughs> Matthew Thompson just said oh, exactly man. the same thing. Uh, they have to call a construction team that rebuilds rebuilds the cave every week. Maybe it's a, a hard light construct. It's uh, like holograms, and it yeah. looks like rock, but it just kind of I like it. It's, it's, so, so, so it's, it's just just, go, just for effect. Just for effect. Let's go yeah. with that. It's just yeah. for theatrics. <laughs> I can't believe you actually kind of questioned that. <laughs> I have to question everything. You don't have to. It's a Power Ranger. You don't question it. Well, you don't know me. The Black Ranger is fighting. I'm like, wow, he's been a Ranger like two weeks. He's doing pretty good. <laughs> he's swinging that sword. Well, I mean, but that, that but that, that's kind of like, you know, what I was saying about uh, Ultraman when we were watching that. Uh, you know, you know, as Shen Shenji just like all of a sudden knew how to fight. Like we had no, we we had never seen previously in the in the season that that he had been trained in anything. Uh, he was just like all of a sudden, 
yeah, cool. I know martial arts. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right. It was kind of like in, uh, what was it, Transformers 4, when they went to China, and the dude on the elevator just, like, busted out with, like, Kung Fu oh, yeah, or something. Oh, yeah, was some boxer. Just, like, random dude that just, like, okay. Well, apparently he he was some kind of famous boxer in China. Like, oh, so that, oh, so it was, like, it was a cameo, and they had to give him something. They had there. a lot of, it's they a had a lot of film, but for cameo. us, it's Yeah, like, well, I mean, it's that. almost kind of racist, so, like, everybody in China knows how to fight, you know what I mean? <laughs> If That's I remember correctly, uh, with with Transformers Four, they got a lot of um, investment money from China, so th- which is why they shot a lot of the film there. And he was uh, always yeah. drinking that milk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Okay, so let's 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 get let's get into the introduction of Bre- Brian. Is that his name? Brian. Ryan. 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 Rhett Fisher. As, as right, Brian. Brian was the uh, Brian was David Leach. Uh, Ryan. Uh, Dana's brother um, gets a hold of the Titanium Ranger morpher, Titanium which we saw was morpher. kind of. So, how was he able to hold in that power, and uh, the Red Ranger wasn't? Practice, I guess. Practice. You know what? Oh wait, is this the episode where we learn how he was kidnapped, or is it the one yeah. after this? You, wait, that, this, was this that this the one, or was that the next one? That's the next one. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, you're right. That's the next one. I hold, I hold out on that one then. <clears throat> but uh, even sleeping with demons, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Practice. <laughs> Practice. He's hey, just used to that pain. It don't hurt. <laughs> yeah, that was that was like again that 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 was that was one thing where I was like, okay, an extra scene or an extra line of dialogue or or just something, just to fill in that gap. Because uh, otherwise, yeah. it's like okay. We, well, we saw we saw that was hurting the Red Ranger, uh, uh, but this guy just kind of like shows up in it, and it's like, all right. Oh, you got you got it. No, the fact oh, that he okay. snuck into the aqua base and not a single Ow. a single not a single alarm went off, not Man, a single how alarm. Deep it, how the aqua base has to be pretty deep. So you think the pressure would have crushed them? If they needed a submarine to get there, like he would have pancaked or something before he even got to the aqua base. You know what I mean? Probably Diabolical gave him some kind of specialized. Uh... <laughs> well, and well, okay, so here, here, here's here, here's yeah here here's another question: If the other monsters don't like water, and he was raised by them, wouldn't he have grown up with that same dislike of water? Stay away no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. They didn't say he was raised by them. They didn't say he was raised by them. He's where just... was he? Well, where was he, was he raised? Did they send him? Did they send him to like a, like a years. convent to bed or something, and then pull him back out? Look, Wait. bottom line. Look, that, uh, I'm like I said, I'm jumping ahead because this kind of coincides with the next episode. But I'm jumping ahead here. Bottom line is he's still a human being, so I'm pretty sure he's <laughs> able to just swim right into the aqua base. Not a single alarm goes off, well, we and no one can tell. We, that we, we we don't know that the other monsters can't swim. We just know that they don't like water. Yeah, that's which I still what find. What does that's, water do to them? Mm. I still find I still find that as like the stupidest weakness that they have. Ever. It wasn't even a weakness because they never even displayed it as a weakness. Yeah, it's what it's what it wasn't like. <laughs> yet, it it wasn't yet. like like signs where like we like where where it's just like oh man they're 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 allergic to water, and yet they still de- decided to invade Earth, which is like eighty percent water. It's actually ninety percent water. All right, you. <laughs> Let's uh, invade the water planet real quick. See. In the chat, uh, we've got uh, Pirabel fifty seven says being raised by the demons uh, would explain that, or uh, that Carter already has powers, uh, so it was maybe it was like a Billy effect. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Billy. Um, yeah, probably because Carter doesn't need to try out two powers so, since he already has okay, one. So, see, Matthew Thompson is on the same page as me. So he's asking who taught him how to swim. Research, I guess. Like I'm pretty sure he had re- <laughs> research. That's cool, but you need training for that. <laughs> Even deep diving. <laughs> research. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he was probably researching while he was wherever he was. I don't you think just the monsters have a research library. I had about this episode. I haven't thought about it for years. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, like, I don't the, dig the this inter- deep. I don't dig this deep with the logic. I just watch. <laughs> no, nah, this bothered me. 
It was like, how do we get in there? I mean, don't they have locks on the outside so anybody can just stroll up in the aqua base? No, but the swim? fact that he found the room, I mean, it kind of makes it obvious, Captain's Quarters, because just looking at the door, it looks like it's different than every other door in the base. There's like 20 domes to the aqua base. How do they even know? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. He goes into the... He goes maybe into maybe the he was captain's... talking with the dolphins and they told him. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm done. He goes, <laughs> into the... he goes into the captain's quarters. He finds the right drawer, the right key, and goes into the right safe. I'm like, how did he know? It was the keys with the light speed symbol on the bottom of it. Well, it's in the, first of all, there's only there's like three drawers on that desk. How you know that you well, then again, pretty sure you every you know if you watch movies, everyone always goes through from the top drawer to the bottom drawer. So wait, I guess wait, that wait. makes sense. Well, well, yeah, yeah you ever you ever see uh, Kong versus Godzilla? It's yes, genetic DNA. I mean, uh, <laughs> genetic memory. <laughs> so that's his father. So he has his father's memory. So you know what drawer to use. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lame excuse. Shut up. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. That's a lame excuse. <laughs> lame. It's just further, fur, further, further indication of the age range that that the show is 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 targeting. Because you know, like like a, a, yeah, a five or a six year old isn't gonna question that. He's just gonna be like, oh, okay, cool. I found think the that key. was, uh, this came out in 99. 2000. 2000. Hold on, let me do the math. <laughs> Wait, for, for how old you were in 2000? Yeah, how old I was. <laughs> I already know how old I was. I don't need to reveal my age. You were like, what, two? <laughs> I, I said I wasn't going to say the age. <laughs> I, was, I was 17. I was 17. <laughs> I, I, I was a little older than that. Were, were, you, were you even created, John, back then? Oh, I was. I just probably just learning Down how to. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Now, now, now I feel old. Yeah, my birthday was like a week ago. I, I don't need any more reasons to feel old. Uh, okay, so. What, what did we even really get out of this episode? We got the intro. We we got the introduction. The Titanium Ronnie. Ranger. That's got, what we yeah, got. Yeah, Titanium Ranger. Here, here, let me info dump on the Titanium Ranger real quick. All right. Because right. this is the the uh, um the the fight scene in the garage, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the Titanium yeah. Ranger doesn't exist in the Sentai footage, right? Nope. No. Uh, they use for his suit. Um, they use the uh, if you know Turbo Ranger, not our Turbo Rangers, but Japan's Turbo Rangers. Yep. Sure. Uh, that's where his suit comes from. His his uh his body, but the oh, the head is the head is original, and they use the the M from the Max Solar Zord, which he gets later. That's the the crest on his head, and uh, I think uh, if you ever seen uh Guyver, Dark Hero, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, Dark and Hero, I was that the that's the second the one, second one. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's yeah, been a while, I but think, I have seen it. Uh, I think Steve Wayne directed that fight scene. I don't know for a fact, but it's the same um, that smoke effect when it's like the and it had the little circle of smoke. Yeah. And that same that same move was in Guyver Dark Hero. I'm like, did they direct? Is this the same person? Cause it's the same exact move. I'll, I'll, have, to, I'll have to watch <laughs> that movie again because like it's like I I want to watch the first one because like Mark Hamill was in the first one. So I, I mean, the first, I hate. I don't like the first one. The first Guyver movie is terrible. The but, second but, one but is watching. Mark Hamill got turned into like that weird worm thing. They just put him in there so people will watch it. Oh, Luke Skywalker's <laughs> in this movie. Watch it. It says Mark Hamill, the Guyver. I'm like, I thought Mark <laughs> Hamill was the Guyver. He wasn't. <laughs> no, he was just some dude. <laughs> he's just some. He's some cop. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So, okay. Uh, so, so keep going. Titanium Ranger. And that's that's about it. That's uh, and all oh, also remember the last week I told you about that kick the cyborg ranger did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this back. No, wait, is this one? Did he do it in this one? Which kick? The kick how he holds his leg up. No, he didn't do it in this one. Oh no, that's when he's a good guy. That didn't come yet. All right. That's but yeah, cool. honestly, when I was watching this episode, it just really takes me back on how, you know, we don't really get much. Well, one, original footage, all original footage. And two, 
I just miss the days of having like an actual legit evil ranger. One, you have an evil ranger, and two, he's an original. So that's two. That's two deals for the price of one. So, and we don't really get this kind of stuff in Power Rangers nowadays anymore. Hopefully, we do somewhere down somewhere in the future. Maybe after Dino Fury, it's all us. It's all America. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I mean, e- e- well, e- even like. Uh, whether it's live action or animated, like the the animated animated series is going to be able to do so much more. Hey, we got Green Ranger Rita. And... <laughs> <laughs> there is uh oh man, I lost my train of thought. I was going to bring something up. But Let's yeah, go. this I mean this episode just really showed oh. me how much I just love oh, Ranger they versus. They wanted Ranger. to do an original Ranger in Lost Galaxy. Did they now? But uh, they didn't get around to that. So here he is now. I did not know that, but hey, at least we got one. Uh, so yeah, so uh, let, let's let, let's just move into the next episode. We'll rate these together since they're they're basically tied together. Mm-hmm. Um, so go, going into episode eleven uh, or twelve, twelve going into episode 12. twelve. Um, we we you know uh, it's revealed that the Titanium Ranger is. Captain Sun, Dana's Ryan brother. Still. This, this man said Ryan Steele. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, Max Steele. Ryan Steele's from uh, VR Troopers. <laughs> <laughs> this Ryan is a Mitchell. He's Ryan Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so, what, what do we think of this? Episode? Like, like, give us a rundown of this episode. It basically. Um, you know, Captain Mitchell tells Dana and the Rangers what happened, you know, the last time he saw his son, they were driving home from, uh, their grandmother, um, their grandmothers. Then first of all, the fact that Captain Mitchell just took a little small glimpse away from the road only to, you know, lose control. And on top of that, it was raining on top of that, it's raining. So he swerves off the the fire truck. (laughs) He swerves off the road, crashes off, crashes off and was able to grab his kids and then they're hanging for dear life on a route. The car crashes to off the cliff. And and, and that, Ryan is holding on to his shoe. Exactly. I'm like, dude. How did that happen? Yeah, it, it, like how first of all, I think I'm pretty sure as soon as he grabs his kids, you see him holding on both of them to dear life and they're rolling down the hill. I'm like, how did Ryan anyway? So Diabolico shows up, he says, doing as a devil would do, making a deal. Like, I will say, if like if I save him, he gets to stay with me. I'm like, no, uh, no, don't do that. Just <laughs> and <Careful>. Captain, <laughs> <laughs> Captain Mitchell shouting for dear life, can somebody save us? I'm like, I don't think anybody can hear you. Man. I don't think anybody can hear you. And on top of that, it's raining. <laughs> so, so Ryan loses his grip. He's falling. Diabolical saves him, and he says, "You won't see your son until his twentieth birthday." And which we find out from the previous episode that was that day. It was Ryan's twentieth birthday. So, what was the point? Why his twentieth birthday? I don't know. I guess they didn't want him to make it eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> and then on top of that, it's like they were locked away. So how did Diabolical Spirit show up? Oh no! Now you okay? Stop! Stop! <laughs> stop! Dang it, Corey! Dang it! I mean, me. I was I was gonna ask, but he did. That that always bothered me. I'm like, hold up, wait, wasn't he Dang in prison it. for like three thousand years? So how's he showing up on this on the on this cliff trying to take somebody's yes. baby all of a sudden? I don't know. I don't know why. It's just strictly I. And then I, I give him to you on his twentieth birthday. <laughs> Like he knew he was, maybe he knew he was getting out <laughs> he's in the future. <laughs> this kid's gonna be 20. I see in the future. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll hold on. I'm gonna mess up my whole joke. I started stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> but you get what I mean. He, yeah. It's like he's seen the future and then, and then he, he just executed a plan, but we don't know that. <clears throat> I uh, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe no, he, it's, he, it's, he's it's, a, he's it's a season the, ahead dealing with the future. Yeah. He's just one season that we don't do that. Yeah, well, That's, you know, it's it's one of the two thousand like I was talking about at the beginning of episode eleven, where just like a line of dialogue somewhere could have easily fixed one of these issues. I mean, but again, is that something Ryan could have just been a third party? 
Like he could have fell, but then like survived, and then it was like, like wandered never in went home. He could have been raised by a bum, and then went and stole <laughs> these powers. And they'd be like, "I hate you, Dad. You forgot about me." He was like, "Bro, we've been looking for you this whole time, like in Batwoman." Oh, and then it would have been like Alice in Batwoman, you know, if you guys watched that. Okay. I I hate that arc. Hate that <laughs> it's not that but arc. That, that, that would have been a more interesting story. You didn't have to bring Diabolical, and then you could kind of just kind of rope them into civilization. Like, hey, we didn't forget about you. We tried looking for you. We didn't know where you were, bro. You know, you didn't, you didn't even have to deal with Diabolical. Then. Viper could have did her thing. Then he could have been the evil karate man in the last episode. <laughs> Fixed it. <laughs> Fixed it. No, the, yeah, the whole thing is weird. I'm just like, now, but now with the end of the episode, I'm like, okay, he's introduced. Now all this past bullshit shouldn't matter. No, it doesn't. It, it's just like, okay, this is how this is how we got him in, into the, the season, so... I mean, it gets resolved Hilarious. kind of quickly because, like like we said earlier, this is an original six, and of course, if they try to do a lot more with this, it would cost Saban more money, so of course, knowing him, he wanted to be cheap. So, basically, this whole arc with Ryan, it's supposed to be, I know it's just, you know, to stall for time from, like, the main plot, but it does add drama to the season. Yeah, forced drama, but 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 drama. <laughs> You know, if you wanted drama, you could have just made them all siblings. Like like all the Rangers? Yeah, like in, in like the Sentai. In the Sentai. That been, but, but then that would be... Uh, the what, big what it, all um, day long. <laughs> uh, uh, Bionic 6, sort of. Bion- no, what is that? It's a American animation uh, from, like the, from the 80s about um, it was a group of people that became a family... Uh, because they were in a horrible accident and one of the guys was a super genius scientist and built them all robotic cybernetic bodies. I vaguely remember. I got, bionic, I, bionic six. Doo, doo, doo. I got to look that up. <laughs> oh, I think, oh, like I said, it's vague. Is this uh, like a little yeah, glimmer yeah, yeah. in my memory? I got to look that up. <laughs> it's, it's, but it's. That was before the ridiculous. bottle. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like it was like mid '80s. Like that that was on around the same time as probably another show that you're not going to remember, uh, Galaxy High. Oh, never. Heard. No, that's before me. I, I was. I never heard of that. Never heard of that. Gal- Galaxy High surprisingly had for for being like an '80s cartoon has surprisingly decent animation. Okay, so yeah, I'm looking at yeah, Bionics. Never heard of this before in my life. You, you, should, you should watch the first episode at some point. <laughs> not not like while we're here on the show. But you know, I'll like, probably give it a watch, probably somewhere down the line. <laughs> we, we, we can do like a watch along at Twitch or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, what, like, I don't know, uh, what, 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 what stuck out from this episode to you? Was is there anything specific that? Uh, I still want a titanium to more. I don't have. It. Um, basically, it kind of you know you. First of all, you know I found funny how in episode 11 there's a shot where Diabolico is speaking to Ryan, but the camera's like behind Diabolico, so you can't see Ryan's face, and they didn't want to reveal it too soon for the audience, and I'm like, okay, I mean, we already know who it is, but that's just a funny nitpick that I have, but as far as everything else, it's, you know, I know things get resolved too quickly, but for some reason, I, I always found it odd, but I, I always would catch the rerun of episode 12 for some reason. I don't know why, but this is this one episode I'll always be catching a rerun of. I like it. It's interesting. You know, I mean, because I was, I enjoy Evil Ranger arcs, and yeah, this was, it was good for me. It was good for me. And plus, you know, an original Ranger, which we probably won't get one from, we'll probably, you'll probably see another original Ranger, like, soon later down the pipeline, but yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go to the notes in uh, from the fandom page. Uh, if you guys in the chat and watching would like to give us your ratings, I will run through those momentarily. Uh, notes in one scene, the uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. It looks like it should be pronounced cuckoo. Uh, Q- Q-Q. 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 Yeah. Q-Q. Sentai Go Go Five. Sentai Go Go Five character. Analyze Robo Mint makes a brief appearance in. The yeah, Rescue I Robo noticed that. Event. I was like, I, I had to pause my, uh, I had to pause it for a moment. Like, hey, I know what that is. 
And, and then you... uh, this episode picked up where from Deep in the Shadows had left off. That's like I feel like some of these notes are weird. Like that, that's like I completely like yeah we know. <laughs> uh, errors after falling off the cliff with Captain Mitchell, Ryan takes off the titanium morph- morpher and drops it on the ground. However. In the next scene where he is in the Skull Cavern with Diabolico, it is back on his wrist. Awkward. Mm. <laughs> he went, got it. Hold on. <laughs> Awkward. Well, I mean, we never saw Captain Mitchell pick it up, so. No, he has it. It's just you can tell um, how they filmed those scenes. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> just... con- yeah, their continuity person wasn't really doing their job. Bad editing. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Captain Mitchell says he said he waited 20 years, uh, but Diabolico had told him he would see his son on Ryan's 20th birthday. In the scene where Ryan was saved by Diabolico, he looks like he's around eight years old, so that would mean that it was actually only 12 years, like or somewhere around 12 years. We, don't, I mean, we don't we don't know how old he actually was in that scene, but yeah, that uh, that timeline definitely is is a little wonky. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, that's Power Rangers. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, I mean, Ryan, Ryan Murphy does the same thing on his on, in in his TV shows. You know, like like I watched Nip Tuck pretty much all the way through, and like I remember there being a plot line where someone got pregnant at the same time someone else was going to jail, and uh, dude got out of jail uh, after having supposedly served like a two year sentence or something. And then the woman who got pregnant had just given birth. So I was like, wait a second. <laughs> that timeline doesn't really add up there. baby. <laughs> so I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Jonathan, <clears throat> uh, rating for this episode. Uh, 4.5 out of 5 for me. Definitely. I, I like this arc a lot. Uh, Corey? Uh, 4. Uh, I'm gonna give it a three. Um, Joel didn't get fucked over in this episode, so you know, that's, 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 that's a good place Leave Joel alone. Leave Joel alone. Uh, <laughs> bad mouth with Joel. You know, it it, it it was it was a solid episode. There was just like some of the uh, the backstory stuff, like you know, like like whatever, just didn't fully hold up for me. I mean, you yeah. take what you get. That's yeah. all it is. Yeah. Uh, in the chat, we got uh, Purebell57 saying the backstory for Ryan was good and uh, gives the episode a 10 out of 10. Uh, Matthew Thompson says, so Mitchell saying that he had waited 20 years is because he was an absentee dad before Ryan went missing. <laughs> 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 and it gives the episode a 4 out of 5. And Jared Hodges gives it a 4 out of 5 as well. Um so yeah, I think I think that's that's pretty much it for us for this week on the Retro Ranger wrap up. Uh, coming up here in about uh, half an hour, Jamie and I will be discussing episode twenty one of Star Trek Enterprise called Detained, where the Suliban make a return appearance, as well as uh, one of Scott Bakula's uh, co stars from Quantum Leap, Dean Stockwell. Uh, tomorrow I will be driving up to the San Francisco Bay area. So there is no Twitch stream, uh, but you can catch back up with the Illuminary wrestling order back here on YouTube at eight o'clock where they'll be talking about tonight's WrestleMania and everything else that happened this past week in the world of wrestling. Um, and then, uh, everything kind of starts over again on Tuesday, starting with it's all connected. Then on Thursday, the Marvel watch along for Falcon and the winter soldier. And we'll be back next saturday with episodes uh whatever whatever's next in Corey's list that's uh, yes 13 14 15 the continuation of the tit- titanium ranger arc uh really quick before we go uh craig anderson <clears throat> gives uh four for both episodes uh thomas franker says that uh more or less captain mitchell made a deal with the devil and gives all, all three episodes uh 4.5 and donnie pearson gives episode 12 a 10 out of 10 uh so i will see you guys in about half an hour i will see you guys uh next week and uh you know have 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 fun enjoy enjoy whatever it is that you do i'm gonna go back to sleep <laughs> i i wish i could i gotta i gotta go do laundry after i'm done with the star trek stream and then pack 
is I'm going to be gone for two weeks. Ah, so, so paid, well, I'm so, not going. I'm going to be away from home for two weeks. So we won't be on next week then. No, we we will be. Oh, okay. I, my, yeah. Okay. So my I'm I'm working on set uh, for the next two weeks, uh, but that's just Monday through Friday. Uh, gotcha. So I'll be just in my hotel room. So you guys will get to see my the luxury. Yeah, the the luxurious Best Western of uh, wherever it is that <laughs> that hotel is. All right. Later, everyone. Peace.